Good morning, comic book community. This is KJ with Post Puppy Comics, where if you can't run with the big dogs, stay on the porch, you all. It's nice on the porch. Yes, it is. Tell you something else is nice. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he that is, that he it is that doeth go with thee, he will not fail thee nor forsake thee. And that's a good word right there, you all. That's a good word. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Read it for yourself. It will help you. Yes, it will. Again, I welcome you to episode 54 of the Pickle Barrel. KJ's Porch Puppy Comics. That's K, capital K, capital J, apostrophe, and capital S, Porch Puppy Comics. KJ's Porch Puppy Comics. I want you to like, share, and subscribe, comic book community. Um, my subscribers are jumping again. I think I'm up to like nine subscribers. Picked up a few new ones. I uh, haven't seen a whole lot of the 63 that I've had, but Lord bless, I'm sure that they'll be coming in eventually. And we yet thank the Lord. So in episode 54, as I've been telling you, these books, I call it the Bless Box, has been uh, be books that'll be showing you be coming out of here. And these, well, the percentage of them are going to be into the pickle barrel. They're going to stay there or... Are there some? Uh, now, these I'm about to show you all. These I had picked up in an eBay buy. And so I'm going to try to do my best to remember to say eBay buy or blessed box. Okay? So we're going to do it that way, you all. So the first one is, is just imagine Stan Lee's. And uh, this book came out, had a bunch of them out. There was a Green Lantern, a Superman, a Shazam, a Flash. Oh my goodness, a Batman, a Superman, a Justice League, an Aquaman. I think there was a Robin even. And then there was, a, I mean, there was a bunch of them. But it's good sometimes to get the ones that you haven't seen. This one right here. Now, I've got the book turned around because it had a double cover. And sometimes the covers on the back look better than the one on the front. And this one here... Every time I see it, it always reminds me of Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen fame. But uh, haven't had a chance to read the Green Lantern ones. I think the only ones that I've actually read so far, comic book community, was uh, the Batman, the Superman, and I think the Justice League, if I'm not mistaken. But um, there's a Wonder Woman in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole setup. It's a whole deal. So, Lord bless down the road, if I pick up the rest of them, you know, if it's in the uh, porch puppy price range, or if I can get them in trade, I'll go that route, just to have the full set. And I'm um, trying to do and take a page from my brother's books, you know, I'm trying to, when I get stuff, try to sit on them for a little while, you know. This is another one that the cover on the back of it was better than the cover on the front. And it's The Flash. It's a female in this one. And uh, this is done, this back cover is done by Adam Hughes. You see the uh, H-A or the uh, A-H down there, apostrophe, the R. Yeah, it's done by Adam Hughes. And uh, it's a cool little book. I read through this one. And uh, it wasn't a bad setup, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad he put them out in kind of the, the prestige format square bound because it made it easier than trying to go and pick up all the individual issues, if you know what I'm talking about. This one here, I like the front cover better than I did the back cover. And that's Shazam. And of course, in this one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that that big creature behind the young lady, uh, that's what happens when... Uh, she says the word Shazam. Uh, he comes. She doesn't change. And uh, But I'll get more into it as things go on. But uh, yeah, 
just imagine Stan Lee's books. His whole setup's pretty cool. And then, like I said, check out the back covers. Because sometimes, if you're online and you'll see the back cover, you wonder, did I miss that? Where'd this book come from? And you might already be sitting on the book. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you end up between a rock and a hard place. Anyway, our next books, Comic Book Community, is another. There I say, well, let's do this first. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, this last issue of this run is an eBay buy. But I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, if y'all remember from a previous video way back when, this Hulk the Slayer was a uh, based on an 80s movie. And my friend, uh, Christopher the Beast Harris, or Wolfen, whichever suits him at that particular time, uh, he had these books and he gave the first four issues to me. Because, like I said, during the time when my mother had passed, he didn't know exactly what to do, how to do. And that's the way some of us get like that when uh, a friend of ours, loved one passes. And, you know, we want to be there for him or her. And we just don't really know what to do but to pray. But it seemed like it's more do you want to do in the natural. But I think, uh, and that's, again, he's another one of my brothers, known each other since we was in the third grade. And uh, even got birthdays after each other. So um, he had given this, this run to me. He gave me the first issue, the second issue, the third issue, as you can tell by the Roman numerals up there, and the, if you're looking at it, camera facing, it would be my light, my, my left, your right. And the fourth issue, it says the adventure continues. Well, we was on the lookout. As I told you, if you go through and you check out these books put out by Rebellion Comics back in 2022, check the books out and see how much they are, are running for. These books got a lot, of, they, a little pricey. And so, you know, he had got him a set and it got me a set. But the only one we didn't have at the time, because I think it was delayed or something or other. But the only one we didn't have was issue five. And he had told and sent word to me that he found an issue five, but they was asking $40 for it. And I told him to leave that book there that is not in the porch puppy price range. And I don't even want nobody buying me a book that's not in the porch puppy price range. I mean, that's something. But as you go through and as I heard so many of the creators say, if you just take your time and wait, guess what? You'll find one. And guess what? Comic book community I found one that was in the porch puppy price range. I don't even think it was over $10. So now I have the full set. If he'd have had two, I'd have bought two of them, one for me and one for Christopher. But hopefully, Lord bless, when I get in contact with him, I'll find out what he has. He gets around a little bit more than I do. He collects everything, toys, vintage toys, comic books, different things he is a renaissance man but anyway that's hulk the slayer one through five so i figured i'd show that one to y'all again just to show you i now have the complete set so let us move on in this here pickle barrel and we taking the lid off in it today the next books uh, let me show you a little oddball a few oddballs what do you say Spelljammer, number one, another TSR book. You remember I told you, I said I picked up several for my brother Skimmy and uh, to do some trading with uh, during in that run. These are drying up quickly. And if you can find them in this good a shape, I mean like this one is, I mean the, the corners are square. The book is nice. I don't know much about the books. Only thing I know of is based off of the Dungeons and Dragons theory, theory and theme that they had going on. So I figured that might be pretty good. Ah, Superman. The Man of Steel, number 100. Always liked this book. And uh, there are some Superman books. Like I said, I'm not a completist anymore. Uh, well, miniseries, maxi series, but just a continuation I'm not getting into that no more. If I find a storyline that's running maybe two to four issues in the midst of the run, yeah, I'll pick it up. 
you know, uh, but like I said, my tastes are changing. Uh, the not so much as what you would call weird, but the things that I'm finding that I'm going back and picking up, you might've heard me say the same thing. Um, the things I find that I'm picking up is things that I had, you know, at the beginning. And I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, this is just stuff I'm just used to like picking up. So I said, I'm just going to keep with that. And we're just going to run with it and see what goes on. See what else is popping. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, folks. Let's do a little Lobo. What do you say? Justice League International, number 18. This is during the time that Guy Gardner had his noodle knocked by the Batman. And uh, it was like an old episode of Gunsmoke where Matt Dillon had beat this gunfighter so bad with his bare hands that he just, just uh, took all the fight out of him. Well, this is what happened here with him and Batman. Because he, y'all know how Guy Gardner was out there in the comic book community. He was something else. But, you know, you can't have an 18 without a 19. Check this out. Justice League International number 19. Ah, the tables are turned. And he's even singing on this cover, talking about, I'm back. Yes. See, this is the Lobo that we know. This is the Lobo that looks more like a biker than the one that looked like a, a clown from the, um, what was it, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Ah. Uh, so, this particular book here, again, was November of 88. So, we come up to... May of 93, I believe it is. But let me be just, because I don't want to sit up here and be trying to give y'all any misinformation. I know sometimes when you're doing this stuff and you're recording it, sometimes it gets a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But this is, this is May of 93. Now keep in mind, that's 88. Okay, the year 1988. This is May of... 1993. And the caption is, oh no, not him again. And this is the fight with Guy Gardner in his own book. And I said, I was glad these were in the box. You know, little stuff like that you don't mind picking up. It's, that's a little cool stuff. You don't mind picking up stuff like that. And that's that's just real nice stuff you can just hang on to and and uh you know if you want to get your ooh and ah on, well so be it, my friends in the comic book community, so be it. Okay, let's just do this next stack. I had these next books were in the blessed box and uh wasn't for sure if I was gonna keep them. But they look so nice. You know I have shown you the first issue of Atari Force from DC. From uh, These are from 84, I guess went into 85. Let me see, just to make absolutely sure. Yeah, from 84 until July, August of 85. I showed you the first issue and I said, I don't know. But guess what, you all? Here's the second issue, a newsstand. Now, as I'm showing you these, I'm just going to point out newsstand, but I want you to look and pay attention to the corners. Look at the spine. These books are pretty. These books are pretty. And I said one day, maybe, Lord bless, down the road, I might sit down and figure out what the full deal is about the Atari Force, because I know it was based off a game system. But... uh um, I mean, it, it, the art, it's, the art's even, it's, well, you can see who the art's by. Is it uh, Gary Conway and Jose Luis Garcia Lopez? So, I mean, the art's great, y'all. I mean, for an 80s run, fantastic. All right. That's two. There's three. New stand. There's four. New stand. There's five, Newsstand, The Dark Destroyer, y'all. 
kind of gives you that Star Wars kind of vibe, don't it? Number six. I mean, look at the condition. Even the, I mean, <laughs> it's like you just went to your comic shop and just bought them. Now, there may be a few spine ticks on this one right in here. And there might be a few that y'all might see that I don't see, but I mean, come on, y'all. These books are beautiful. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. First one, not a newsstand. Number 10. Second one, not a newsstand. Number 11, newsstand. Number 12, newsstand. Let me back it up just to her. I might be able to get them all in without having to move any. Number 13, newsy. Number 14, newsy. Number 15, new stand. Number 16, y'all already know. Number 17, nope, not here, folks. Number 18, new stand. And number 19, new stand. Comic book community. The only one I need to finish up this whole run is issue 20. And I'm looking at one on eBay as we speak. And uh, once I get the full set, then I'm going to check it out. Look, nowadays, you all, if you think about it, finding books from this era, you know, 84, 85, those are getting hard to, to run across. I mean, there's a... You know, you got your Blue Beetles, you got your Booster Gold, you got, um, oh, what else that came out uh, outside? I mean, there was quite a few books that came out there with Amethyst. I think she came out in the 80s, you know, and there was a lot of books that are coming out now that if you can find them, you know, these books here, when you go through the dollar box, 50 cent box, they might have looked pretty, but you weren't interested in none of that stuff because it wasn't a variant or it wasn't a hot book or uh, it wasn't going to be the next big book that was going to send your kids to college. Hey, we've all been there. You understand. But when you find stuff like this, it's hard to let them go. So I decided to go ahead and keep the books, get the number 20, and have a full set. And so I will have a full set of Atari Force in the Pickle Barrel. The next books that I'm going to show you another 80s book if I'm not mistaken uh, looks like 1984 Star Wars I think I pronounced that right if I didn't y'all correct me in the comments number one I have another issue number one that was a package deal for the issue number four that I was after to finish up the set, again with the porch puppy price. As in, so I have two number ones. Number two, newsstand. And you don't find these in real good shape, but again, I'm trying to tell you, look at the condition. These are nice. Number three, now, I'm not one of those people that's seeking after 9.8s or 9.9s or even 10s, you know, and I'm still trying to get a good bead on what all that is because I'm still from the, the good, the very good, the fine, the very fine, the near mint, the mint. But anyway, so I was needing an issue number four to have a straight set. Saw one on eBay. Gentleman had it. Book was beautiful. I put the magnifying glass on it, but it didn't do it no justice until it came in. And here's the thing. It came in with a quickness. It came in with a quickness. So I got the one and then issue number four of the miniseries. 
have never read the whole miniseries, know it was a toy line back in the 80s. So hopefully I can get a good beat on what it is. And if I'm not mistaken, and y'all can correct me out there, comic book community, I do believe these were Bill Sienkiewicz covers. But you can let me know for sure. Our last three books, bringing up the rear on the docket, comic book community. Another book I've been looking for, and these, the guy had such a fantastic price on these, I couldn't let them pass. I, and, and the thing, what I like about it is he had the pictures in the, in the, you know, in the description and still had the original prices on the books. So, you know, I, I, well, let me just put the books out there. Okay. Vigilante. Number one. Look at that, y'all. Look at the condition on that book. And the original price tag he had on that book was two bucks. Okay. Vigilante. Number two. Original price tag, if I remember correctly, he had on that book was a dollar. Vigilante. Number three. Original price tag he had on that book was a dollar. Now, if I remember correctly, Lord bless, I believe I got all three books plus shipping for eight bucks. To me, that's a great deal. And in this particular condition, Keith Pollard, another great artist of mine, and Par Pablo Marcos. He's another one. I like his, I like this stuff. Marv Wolferman, of course, you know, and then I like this, this incarnation of the vigilante. I like it. So again, comic book community, that's going to do it for this episode 54 of the porch puppy. And as we said at the beginning, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them for the Lord thy God he it is that doeth good with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. That is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. I stand on his holy word. I trust his holy word. I believe his holy word. And I'm just trying to tell you, let you know, comic book community, that you can look to man, but man will let you down. But Jesus will never let you down. Don't let nobody tell you different. He will never let you down. But get with somebody that can tell you about the Lord. Get with somebody that let you know about God's word, his scriptures. Don't be sitting up there and being falling victim to crazy and stupid stuff. Look, the Lord can show you. All you have to do is you don't get to know him. Because you can know him, but does he know you? Turn your life over to him. Let him show you. Let him turn you around. He said, I'll forgive you of all your sins. He said, and I'll put you on straight street. But you live for him. You live for him. We're free moral agents. But your soul will have to go somewhere, you all. Look, comic book community, again, like, share, and subscribe. I love you with the love of the Lord. And as we say, at here at KJ's Porch Puppy Comics, it's nice. On the porch. Come back and see me. Love you, comic book community. Have a blessed morning.